Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a poster using a banner in Publisher. So this is the steps, or these are the steps that you are going to do. So the first step is you're going to search for uh, Publisher. So you can uh, choose the start window and then the programs and then find the Microsoft Office and click Microsoft. Microsoft Publisher, but uh, in this part, in this situation, I'm going, I'm just going to search the publisher. So it is already here. It's like in my recent research researches that the publisher is, is already here. So it's like what I've said, I'm just uh, telling you how to search the publisher in your computer. If you have a Microsoft Office you can actually find a publisher to your computer so let's begin so since I have already opened the Microsoft Office Publisher or the MS Publisher so all we need now to do is to create a blank page but I'm going to tell you first the parts of the publisher once you open it so there is a part of home, the home page, the new page, and then the open. So <clears throat> in a home part, in a home page, there we are going to choose uh, page sizes to this because in a home page, this is the. Uh, the part that we can uh, start our banner or our poster in banner so all you need to do so we have here 8.5 by 11 which is in a uh, vertical position and we have blank 11 by 8.5 which is in a horizontal position but in this case we are not going to use this but we need to click the more blank page sizes okay just click it and we are looking for a folder so we have here the standard sizes the custom sizes but we are focusing here we proceed here to the publication types and look for the posters folder okay so this is the posters folder and then we are looking for a banner okay so, so i am using this banner which is a 118.11 by 39.37 inches. Okay, just click it and click create. Okay, so so now we are now here in uh, this page wherein you can create your design. So according to the activity that we have there, that I had given you the video lesson that you should watch. That there is a class rules so we need to create now the house rules but before that let us have a creation of the design of our banner wherein you could put the word class rules so I'm going to uh, make a symbol of a pencil so I'm going to use the different shapes here. So for you to find the shapes, so we have the file, home, insert. So in the insert tab, we're going to click it and find the shapes. Click the shapes and look for the shapes that you want to make. Okay, so let us begin to the eraser of the 
occupancy. Okay. For example, here. Here. So this part is the eraser of our pencil. Since it, it is in the default mode, so once you create a shape, it is automatically uh, make its default. So the default is color blue. So the fill is color blue. And it has a line which is color black. So all we need to do is to put in here. So click here to remove the fill colors. Or to, to remove the fill color. Okay. So the color of the eraser is color red. Right. So all you need to do is to right click and format auto shape. And then we have here the fill color and the light color. Fill and light. So the fill color is this. Okay. So now we have the color of our pencil, which is red. So we are providing uh, more space to the uh, to the word class rules. So that's why we need to adjust the shape okay next is the body part of the pencil so we can use the rectangle shape or the rectangular shape okay. So, the color of the body part of the pencil. So, all you need to do now is to right click. Right click to a certain or to the specific object that we really want to put a color or to fill a color. Right click and format auto shape. And as you can see here, so we have here the color and the line. So, we are not uh, editing the color line just no color right so color black and then the fill color is color yellow right because the color of the pencil is color yellow right so now uh, we are now supposed to uh, put the words class rules or class rules here uh, sorry class rules so all we need to do is to click the word in the uh, click to the insert tab menu this is the insert tab menu and find the word art or there are two ways on how you can uh, make uh, a word inside a certain object so i'm gonna uh, before we proceed to the word art i'm gonna tell to you what is the first option that you can do Okay, so all you need to do is to put the uh, left click on the object and then right click and then you can put add text here. So as you can see here that there is a very little tiny, there is a very tiny uh, blinking. Uh, blinking. Uh, line there you can see there is a big line there so it means that it has or it is in the default of the size of the or the font size is 10 okay so once once we put it in 72 it increases its height so let us okay uh, So we're going to write the, the letters of class rules as capital letters. Okay, so you can see here now, there's a class rules now. So all you need to do is to drag it. And 
So let's estimate the size of it. So I made it is 300 now. Or you can simply click this to make the letter more bigger. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. But as you can see, it is not in the middle part, right? So that is the first option. But as you can see here that the word class or the dot, the word class rules doesn't fit in the or doesn't uh, move in the middle part of the body of the pencil. Okay. So this is what we are going to do. <clears throat> so the second option is we're gonna draw a text box. So we're gonna draw a text box here. Okay. And then gonna write the word class rules. Let's make this as uh, uh, 800. Right. How about uh, 1000? <laughs> I think it's I think it's invalid. About 900. Okay. So since we use the text box, now we use the text box so we can drag it we can move the word that just like this okay as you can see it is now in the middle part right and the font type or the default font type here is the calibri so this is the so we're going to put pick a new font for our text Okay, all you need to do is to drag it and then let us uh, find for a better, for example, this uh, area black. Uh, it's too big. So all you need to do is to reduce the size. So, uh, alright. Here the class rules. Okay, so in the third option that we're going to use is the word art. So this is very simple. So all you need to do is to uh, choose the plain word art styles or word art transform style. But for me, since I don't need a, I don't need uh, any uh, transform styles like this because I just want to put a straight uh, word with just uh, a circling or a wavy word <laughs> like this as you can see but we can change the color so since we have red and yellow so I think uh, we can use blue for the line and violet I think I'm gonna pick this so, class rules. Okay. Let's remove this now. We are now here in class rules. So, I need to suggest this. Okay. Alright, since that we already put our class rules there, we can also format a uh, word art. 
so there's a shadow I don't like to have a shadow there but anyway it's okay so we have here the class rules so I want to put in the line I don't like color blue for the line color I like black then I'm gonna put it so it's right class rules and now since that the body part of a pencil has its color black on it we're going to put a color black at the top and the bottom part of our pencil so all we need to do now is to click shape again and here and then uh, format out the shape because I just want the color it black ah not this this part I just want to color this as white okay Okay. To make it equal, so all you need to do is to copy this and paste. And then, thin here. <coughs> no, sorry. Okay. So we have now here the class rules. And then for the pointed part of our pencil, all you need to do is insert and then shape. Alright, so we can uh, just dip the arrow pentagon here or we can use this as well. So there's just a part there we can uh, put here as this. Okay. color brown I guess okay uh, I think there's wrong with this <laughs> so let's change this yeah, let's change this into this So all you need to do is the word I think it's better than the Let's color this as color brown Brown, brown, brown More colors Where's the color brown? Right. Okay. And okay. And then try again. It's the pointed part of our. So I need to do the rotate. Changes it to five. Then, uh, the shapes and the lines. Now our class rules. 